So here's the deal. I have this old piece of code. I do not remember how it works and it's not working at all right now. When I try running it, it does this. It should move the black square all over the, the map uh, randomly. And in this case, the black square is staying completely still. I don't know why. This is a script I wrote about six years ago. I have to fix it on a pretty regular basis. And I thought I would use this as an example of how to figure out something using Talon Microscope because um, frankly, I don't remember ever why I have to fix it. There's always something I have to do. I forgot to document what it is. For some reason, it's not working. Rather than read through all of my code, which looks like this, and there are only 570 lines. This is a pretty short um, file, but rather than read through this and try to figure out what it is, I'm just gonna take a kind of a shotgun approach to it, and we're gonna use Talon to figure it out. Now, what I've done is I've taken that script and I've uploaded it to the Talon server. And I also did a thing called tracing it, which is where I added some comments in the code. Uh, and this is all gonna be, this part of it is gonna be uh, posted on the website of exactly how you use this. But basically, um, this code will let you uh, add little points throughout your, your um, code that it says, okay, well, we're here now, we're here now, we're here now, etc. Okay. So I did all that, I ran it, I've got the data from that, and now I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we are in Talon and we're looking at the code itself. And this, what Talon has done is it's taken the um, entire file and it's figured out how all of it fits together and it's created this giant hierarchy. And so even though there are many different um, functions in this file, it's figured out that some functions are actually being called from other functions. And so it created this uh, actual hierarchy of it. This is not what my code looks like. If you were to look in the code, it's nowhere near this clean. It is, there's not a simple logical progression throughout the code. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna open the history file and I'm gonna load the, uh, this is the data from the Husk uh, session that I ran just a little bit ago. And I'm just gonna click and drag this slider. And here we go, I can see that for all of these entries here, this little um, indicator here, this is our current selection, current, the current node we're on, uh, it's not moving. It moves at the very beginning and then it's sticking there. And if we zoom in on what that is, it says it's a return. Okay, well, that means that in this particular case, the code is executing and it's getting to that point and it's stopping, which is correct, but I wonder why. So it looks like here we're saying uh, if the game object had to find the tag player, then we do this, else we return. Okay, well that tells me that in my code or in my project, what I obviously didn't do was tag something with player. So this took literally seconds to see. I didn't have to read any code. I just had to open it and hit a few buttons. And it told me this is where my code is, is not going, basically, right? And so what I wanna know now is um, whether or not this fixes it. So we're gonna hop back in there and take a look. Okay, so here we are back in Unity and I wanna find out whether or not that uh, one thing was actually the problem, uh, which was that I didn't tag something as a player in the game. So I don't wanna add anything to the scene just to, to find out whether or not this is absolutely the, the case. So I'm just gonna take the directional light and change its tag to player. This makes no sense. But my point is, if that's right, if Talon is right, then simply setting this to player should make everything actually work. And there we go. And that's how it should be working. So that took literally seconds and I'm done.